Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to the channel if you're new here. My name is Death by Pony, and last we left off, we were exploring the new island. So without further ado, let's hop back into this. Yep. White smoke is billowing from the building in the back. Is this some kind of factory? But if it's got Monokuma's face on it, I'm sure it's a shady factory anyway. Hajime. Ah, Hajime, good timing. What's up, Chiaki? See? Uh, this building clearly looks suspicious, right? I was thinking it might be good if I thoroughly look around inside, yeah. but since it clearly looks suspicious, I thought it'd be dangerous to go alone. Then do you want to go inside together? Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't say okay. Why are you hesitating? Alright, then I'm going to go inside. What the heck is this? As being many what was being manufactured one after another and being carried away on the conveyor belt was Monokuma? The conveyor belt is endlessly moving through this enormous machinery. The coconut trees carried by the conveyor belt is persistent eventually made into this stupid thing. There are so many monokumas. My coon's being tossed into this giant basket one after another. They better not be real. We one up with my hand. So these are plushies. Um. Monokuma plushies. And the real Monokuma is sort of like a plushie too. But unlike him, these are probably actual plushies. <laughs> huh, the, isn't the resemblance in Candy? They're my life-size plushie. Life-size? <laughs> I was planning to hit the big time with these. That's why I'm making them like crazy. Yahoo! I'm gonna be rich. But you've made way too many. You're gonna be overstocked when it's all said and done. Monokuma's life side plushie. I don't want it. Mm. I see. So this place is for manufacturing life size Monokuma plushies. What kind of messed up place is this? Yeah. Don't look down on me. Do you really think it's just for life size plushies? <laughs> there are a lot more Monokuma merch in the goods warehouse next door. Hey, hey. What should we do? Honestly, I don't really feel like going. But, still... but what if there's some kind of important clue? What are you gonna do? You're right, then we should go there just for a little while. I'm not convinced there isn't something I can, there isn't one to find in here. See? Uh, I've been found. I knew it. There had to be one. Especially if it was hidden in with all of the others. Especially in the factory with him being made in mass. That thing I peeked into the pile of stacked in cardboard boxes. Uh, there's a Monokuma calendar, Monokuma sandbag, and even more Monokuma guitar. First, there was Monokuma archive in the funhouse. Now there's plushy factory and all these goods. How full of himself is he? <laughs> Mascot popularity doesn't last forever. I gotta earn the big bucks while I can. Mascot isn't that isn't popular anymore. It's like a piece of candy without any sugar. In other words, it has no reason for existing. He's starting to take it even crazier. I was thinking about using these to rate the stores and sell my merch, make them look all boom. Then they'd stand out, you know? No stores would sell your stuff. You're so of course stupid. not. You're such a fool. That's why I opened an official Monokuma shop. Thinking about opening chains all over the world. Of course, the main attraction will be my life-size Monokuma plushie. I can't... I can't believe you thought that far into the future when you made these. Your business is doomed to fail. Hey. Not for already. You have no business in sense anyway so just stop no it. no hey, hey don't say that uh, let's do our best together we'll be as popular as hogs were in the 90s hey, hey. um don't you remember how long those stayed popular besides if you're serious about opening a business already committed a major I mistake forgive you. because there's no merch of me my little sister oh monami my little sister don't you know the a uh, fable about the rabbit and the bear what? Not a tortoise? Hey, um... It was a long time ago, there were these two old guys. Hey. 
two old guys living together? Do you all guess that rabbits aren't as popular as bears? The end. Hi, did you even need the old guys in the story? So even if I made merch for you, it's pointless. A happy rabbit is so lame. You don't even have an ounce of good fashion sense. You did this to me. You're the one who has no fashion sense. way of snapping back honestly i can't help but feel like i might have made too many panels Special bleeding service. so whoever wants to decorate the room please do it as much as you like Here. come on what are you waiting for hajime let's run you're right i wasn't done looking we ran out of the warehouse narrowly avoiding monokuma's plans for viscery disposal It's like you just got tired. Yeah, you're right. How's that? Yo. Hajime, I was looking for you. What's up, Fuhiko? Well. I was thinking you've probably finished exploring the island by now, right? You're right, I think I was explored everywhere at least once for now. I don't think so. I haven't gone to the vendor street. Damn right. Then do you want to meet up with everybody and discuss things? Yeah, I don't mind. Huh. I figured it'd be annoying if we all went back to the hotel for this. But there's a street nearby lined with food vendors. I told everybody to meet there. Later. I'm heading over there right now. Hurry up and come over. You're letting me know if you he go left the area. He actually took the time to tell everybody about that, huh? Now's not really the time to be impressed by something like that. It'd be bad to make others wait. I should hurry over. Street is with the food stands. Sir, I wanted to look at the street before you can come and get me to tell me to go to the street. I want a chance to look around. Reminds me of the beginning of Spirited Away. Huh. Alright, looks like everyone's here. Uh -huh. Oh, what about Nagito? Who cares? It's not like he's our friend or anything. Like... I couldn't get in touch with him. I don't know where the hell he is. Or what he's doing. So, how did it go? Did you learn anything about the Future Foundation? Hmm. I really like, I feel like I learned stuff, but I also feel like I didn't learn anything. It's not clear which information we found is believable, if any. However, However I believe there is no question that the Future Foundation is behind everything and has been go that has been going on. Well, obviously, that our world ender. Pick one. Well. Are we sure about that? Huh? Huh? What are you saying? If they're not an enemy, then what are they? If they're our ally, there's no way they'd trap us on this well, island. Yeah. That's true, but there's something I've been thinking about. Hey. Anami works for the Future Foundation, right? She's pretty much admitted it by this point, but even though Anakuma is forcing us to kill each other, Monami has been opposing him. Huh? You mean pretending to oppose him, right? That's wrong. No, I don't think she's pretending they clearly hate each other. Hmm. Then it's Possibly the the enemy of our enemy is actually an ally. Because she opposes Monokuma, think that she's our Please ally? Wait. Even if they both oppose each other, it's not possible that they are both our enemies. Starting to get pumped up. Like a three-way battle that's kind of hot. Hey. Why, after all this time, you suddenly backing up the Future Foundation? Whoa. Are you talking about like that because you're actually the traitor that's working for them? Damn. Don't be a fucking idiot. I won't be fooled. No way, you're clearly suspicious. I mean, if you don't. Because she said a shut up. <laughs> yes. Listen. There never was a traitor. Monokuma lied to us. Oh my. L lied. Well. It's simple, a false entity that Monokuma made up so we would be suspicious of you each other. How can you not believe in your friends after everything we've endured together? <sighs> weak. How weak. Of course. Yes. Instead of facing the problem directly and overcoming it, you're desperately trying to run away. Such despair. That weakness is hopeless. Nagito. No. Haha. <laughs> Give me. Thank you. Now, where were we, Nagito? Nikito, where have you been this whole time? Jeez. I was wondering where your thought process wandered off to. As usual, you guys just kept running around in circles. 
What are you, hamsters? <laughs> Oops, I compared you guys to hamsters. I will get yelled at by the weakling who dropped out. That is... What does that... Now then. You ask where I've been this whole time, right? Well... well, I was in the middle of looking for someone. Looking for someone. <sighs> I thought that person might already arrive, but I guess I was wrong. <laughs> or maybe that person is hiding a secret location and carefully watching us. Hey, who are you talking about? Are you saying there's someone on this island besides us? <laughs> That's probably the survivor of the killing school life. Huh? huh? How about it? If so, a lot of things st might start adding up, don't you think? Are you talking about Bayukuya? He's the survivor you're talking about, what? right? Huh? <laughs> oh, I see you guys are only reaching that stage. <gasps> what stage? You're not making sense not at all. Making sense. Jeez. But if, but still, if you think about it properly might be able to figure it out. Why would Bayakuya, a survivor of the killing school, die in vain like he did at the very beginning? Right. Don't you think that's strange? Huh? What does that mean? That is an order. The issue is not with what he means. Please take back what you said about Bayakuya dying in vain. That's right. Yeah, listen to Miss Sonia. Well? Uh, you have been acting very strange lately. I do not like this version of you, Nikito. We have been wit- the- of Nikito we have been witness huh. to. I don't like you either. Well, I never liked you in the first place. This is troubling. Anyway, it looks like I'm being hated. Well, that's understandable. There's no way you guys can ever comprehend my suffering. Oh. Knowing the truth can be pretty painful. It is in its own way. The truth. Uh, what truth would you know? <laughs> Curious, are you? But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is, huh? Actually... To tell you the truth, I still haven't figured out who the traitor is. <laughs> but I won't take me very long. You guys don't have to worry. I'll weed out the traitor even if it costs me my life. What? You're going to weed out the traitor? Oh, As I've already said, there is no traitor. I doubt that. <laughs> I bet in the end, you're just going to raise your hand and go, I'm actually the traitor, right? <laughs> you're a funny guy, Kazuchi. But why don't I tell you guys that after we found out who the traitor is? If I'm able to wipe out all the despair on this island, I will. This is exciting. I'll become the ultimate hope. Ultimate hope? No. What the hell are you talking about? Have you finally lost your damn now mind? Then. Now then, I should get going. But if you see Anakuma again, there's something I want you to tell him. Tell him he doesn't need to provide a motive anymore. Huh? <laughs> tell him not to worry because I'm planning to get all, go all out. The next one will probably be the last. Could it be? Nikito, what does that mean? Bye now. Bye. He's gonna commit a moida. Nikito ignored Chiaki's question and left us. We were powerless to stop him. It was clear to us that he was trying to stop him. It would be useless. Hey, hey. I don't want to think about it, but uh, could he be planning a kill? Are you kidding me? A kill? Who's he gonna kill? Damn it. Based on how he was talking, it looks like his target is the traitor. Wait. There is no such person. I mean, the notion of us has been deceiving all along. I will never, ever believe that. I feel like it's her. Like Sonya said, I can't believe it either. I don't think any of us could do that. But what if it's Nagito? Or what if whoever it is has forgotten about it? What if the traitor has forgotten that they are the traitor? Just like how I forgot I didn't have a talent. Uh. Well, regardless of who he's targeting, there's a high chance that he'll, he's planning to kill, right? Then we gotta tie him up again. Forcing him to stop is the only way. Oh. It's impossible. Nekomaru's... Not even here anymore. <laughs> I've got what it takes to deal with someone as weak as him. Then huh? that's a yes, right? I'll just just leave it to me. Once I come up with a plan, uh, we'll meet up again. Tai Nigito, huh? Kazuchi's right. It's dangerous to let Nigito wander freely. Uh, if we're being cautious, we have to act fast. But what is this indescribable anxiousness I'm feeling? I hope it just means I'm thinking too much. For the time being, we decided to finish our exploration to the final island and return to the hotel. It was already dark by the time we returned to the hotel. Nothing looks like it's locked. I believe that there is no traitor. 
No, that's not the issue. After all, it is impossible. Yeah. Why does Nikito not understand that? And furthermore, he even made an insulting remark about Gunham. Uh. Gunham gave his life so he could teach us something important. Sonia. Um. At the time, Gunham scolded me for attempting to stop his execution. Looking back on it, he would have forgiven me with a smile on his face, right? Yeah, Hi. definitely. Gunham stayed true to himself until the very end. I will never forget that. Huh. I'll do Nekomoru's share of the grunt work. Leave it to me. I'm pretty confident about my strength as long as nobody grabs my tail. There won't be any problem. You have a tail? You. Obviously, I'm joking. Obviously. I see. Don't be thinking stuff like if you want to see a tail, I got one. If you grab it. Okay. I'll get even more powerful. Ha 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 ha. That's a terrible joke. Even worse than a joke an old man would make. Jeez. Jeez, even her ignorance has a limit. What are you talking about this time? Huh? It's Sonya. She had the nerve to say she wanted to check out my body. Your body? Bastard. Don't think about weird things, you bastard. It wasn't like that. I don't know where she heard it from, but... She came up to me and said, Really, Yakuza are supposed to have tattoos? To show them to me. Oh, so that's what it Damn was. It. It's not funny for her to tell me to strip right in front of her. Who does she think she is? Besides, tattoos aren't supposed to be gawked at. Of course she's in here. Where else would she be? Hmm... Plan to capture Nikito, huh? Kind of looked pretty confident, but is she really going to be all right? I mean, she's strong, but Nikito is, you know, unpredictable. You're right. I don't know how else we're supposed to catch him. <sighs> I don't even know if this is the right thing to do. If Nikomura was still here. Would he let Akane go through the, with See? this? Ah, actually, he'd probably get pumped up about our capturing plan along with her. You know, he did capture him once before. Yeah. Ah, Kazuji helped him that time too. I feel like Gunham and Nekomura are scolding us for not growing at all. Maybe. This is Nikita's cottage. What are you really thinking, Nikita? Why are you planning to do? For some reason, I'm really tired today. Well, I got all of them on the fourth island, and I'm missing one on the fifth. Uh, well, since I walked around a lot, I was able to obtain several clues, so I'm not really certain if you'd even call these clues. Instead, I feel like we're just suffering from one more mystery that don't make sense. This isn't good. As soon as, uh, as nighttime hits, I can't stop thinking of these pessimistic thoughts. This might be a bad habit of mine. I should get some sleep today, rest my mind for a while, and I'll give it some more thought tomorrow. Actually, words are extremely dangerous. Unlike letters, words cannot be undone with erasers or with a backspace. That's why you need to be extremely careful. Same goes for me. There was a time in my past when I went through a lot of trouble because of that. That's right. When I was being trained at the safari park, at the time there were two animals at the park that I got along with. One was a squirrel named Dr. Sir Dietrich. Dietrich and the other fox name, uh, Cha Cha Jr. 
To be honest, Cha Cha Jr. was really stupid. If a female employee tried to have a serious talk with him, he'd just stare at her boobs the whole time. That's why Sir Dietrich would order him to steal panties, and that idiot would get real happy when he exchanged the panties he stole for Dietrich's old undies. Also, this one time, the of us went to a steakhouse, and the waiter asked how would you like it cooked. Dr. Cha Cha uh, Jr. said, Proudly said with fire. Uh, Sir Dietrich was pretty crafty. He knew how to play Dr. Cha Cha. Uh, uh, Cha Cha Jr. He made Cha Cha Jr. abduct a fawn and drown it. Then he saved that drowning fawn himself. Made Cha Cha Jr. tell everybody about it. Man, he really did some shady things. Anyway, the three of us were getting along together. We were living fun life in the safari park. That's right, until the day I ended up saying those words. I accidentally said this to Cha Cha Jr. Foxes are squirrels' natural enemies. The next day, I stumbled across what was left of uh, Dietrich. Sir, had been eaten. Good thing I immediately toddled to mail employee so he could put down Cha Cha Jr. with a hunting rifle. Even now, I regret saying what I said what back then. The Gee, squirrels have it rough. They have so many natural enemies. Ooh. Bing bong. Hope you enjoyed today's episode. And if you did, remember to hit like. That way I know you're enjoying the content I'm making. You remember to hit subscribe. That way YouTube brings you back here to see what happens next. And I won't waste any more of your time. I hope you have a good day. And I'll see y'all next time. Bye-bye.